Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Mas Diamuli Binti Dahlan. I'm from Faculty of Maritime Study, University of Malaysia, Terengganu. Currently, I'm study in Maritime Management. Uh, now, this video is presentation of my final year project, which is the title about the impact of container drill time at Penang Port. Uh, my supervisor of final year project are Dr. Jagat Jivan and Dr. Norinda Rosa. First of all, let me explain my introductions. Uh, the sea transport tend to be a big one for global trading and developments of supply networks. More than 45% of foreign trade is carried in volume by sea. To achieve the global trade part, we have two more challenges, for example, for performance container traffic at the port. Malaysian trust business container ports can be found up north at the west coast of Peninsula Malaysia and the island of Penang. Therefore, why I, I choose the Penang port? Because the scope of research title, the impact of container duty time, and also suitable because a Penang port is the container terminal. Next, I will show about the problem statement. The problem statement is the context for the research study and generates the question which the research aim to answer. Statement of the problem is the focal point of the any research. The first statement comes from Muhammad Dini Abdul Rahman, is the manager of the container department Penang Port. He stated that the Penang Port have any issue about container dwell time, and I will get the statement and the standard record of container drill time from the Penang port. Next, uh, Pacific Motion Shipping Association 2019. The statements, the statement is part of Los Angeles and Long Beach record the average container drill time in January 2019 was 4.32 days. And the third statement is come from Max Correct Met Scully is 2019. Uh, West Coast Terminal was having container drill time when the vessel burns facing problem at terminal. And the records uh, effects the vessel arrived three days late from the actual schedule. Research objective. The first objective to identify the factor of container drill time at the Penang ports. And the second objective to analyze the implications of container drill time on competitiveness at the Penang ports. Then the research methodology, data collection is I I choose a fully structured questionnaire, and then type of methodology, quantitative methods, and research instrument is survey questionnaire, and then data analysis, exploratory factor analysis. EFA. Next, I will show the result of the factor of container dual time at the Penang ports. And I using the SPSS software analysis. The first result, I have a KMO. KMO is a case measure all key. That's a function to measure a sampling. And the KMO must above 0 0.50 to proceed the data. So, uh, I get it 0 0.539 which is a barely accepted for the sampling adequacy. The result of EFA that there are four major factors of container dual time at the Penang port. This include operation problem, port efficient, effect management, and the last is transitional. Then, they calculate the crunch band alpha value, the function of crunch band alpha value to investigate the suitable level of the item in research. And then the result must have 0 0.7 above to get the sample is trusted. And now operation problem have 0 0.912, then port efficient have 0 0.855, effect management have 0 0.959, and the last transitional is have 0 0.961. All the component is more than 0 0.7. Let's go to the second result. The analyze implications of container drill time on the competitiveness at spin and port. The result of KMO, I get it as 0 0.533. It's a more than 0 0.5. So the data is 
can be proceed. And the crunch alpha value, I get it uh, only one component is a port performance is a record 0 0.907 is a more than 0 0.7 so the sampling is trusted limitations of the research uh, the sample of respondent is uh, from the Penang port terminal operation workers and the client of Penang port totally of 40 people respondent participate and uh, the answer come from the Google form question uh, because uh, Malaysia have an issue COVID-19 so we accept the RMO from the Malaysia Minister. Conclusion, the container real time are important productivity for the terminal part because give the big impact to our operations and performance terminal. Look at the record. The container dual time pin import can reduce the dual time because the record standard dual time world is only 4.02 compared to the pin import 4.28. So, um, improvement, efficient and operation performance are impact more and important thing that give recent development affecting the market of liner shipping. That's all for me. Lending me your ears, lending me your eyes, lending me your time. I appreciate that. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.